Good morning, it's Jeff Spalding back with another video. Today we're going to be visiting uh, Maku Maku, um, just a spot that I like to farm, Arapaima. It's nothing special. Um, just had a couple people ask for it yesterday. Some people uh, aren't aware that this spot exists from what I've seen. Um, a lot of people probably know about it, but decided I share it today. Help people that uh, that are just getting to this river that are really wanting to hit the Arapaima, have some fun with them. Um, I'm going to show you my setup real quick, and then we'll head over. Uh, I'm going to be using the 59-pound heavy chaser all the way across, a uh, barbless ADOT hook for extra XP. going to be using a shiner. Um, Sinker doesn't matter. We're not going to be casting too far. Uh, just making sure that you have a leader on. Um, it, in my opinion, increases the bite rate for the Arapaima. Uh, I can actually quad up with this setup. I've done it several times. Um, I had a question yesterday. Why don't I use the Ericu Minnow? It's a top bait for the fish. I found myself uh, actually catching um, other, more, more of other species than just the Arapaima. Uh, the China, I'll still get uh, Butterfly Peacock every once in a while. Flat Whistler Catfish. Um, piranha. But it's, it's very far in between. It's not like I don't know what I'm going to be reeling in this time. Um, with the Ericu, I'll be picking up uh, the Ripsaw, the, um, both Piranha, um, the Flat Whisker Catfish, the Butterfly Peacock, and the Arapaima. It's just too many fish. Um, and it's like it's not arapaima almost every single hit um with the shiner i find myself hitting a lot more arapaima in a row than i do with the minnow and it's a lot cheaper the air the Ericu minnow is 1715 bucks for five of them and shiners are 650 for 10 of them so it's a it's a win-win um so we're gonna head on over if you have any questions about that go ahead and stick it in the comment box um, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. So we're going to start off with a boat dock. The only place you pretty much can start off with if you want to go anywhere in this map. Unless you want to be stuck on a dock. Just in a regular room. Not going to do a private server or anything like that. I'm just going to tell you, show you that it works where I go. Okay, we're going to make a big U turn here. Run the side down. And where we're going to be going is over here in this corner right here. And I'll bring that back up once we stop. So if you're looking for that patch right there, once you hit that little patch where the two things come up out of the water, you'll definitely want to slow down. Go to the first opening right past it. Over here, um, you can catch a lot of different species if you want to sit here and farm for a couple of Arapaima and then go for the rest of your fish if you're trying to do the mission. But right now we are located top right, pretty much across from this top dock area on the map, just a little bit lower. It's the one right before you hit the, the, the main corner. Um, so let's get started. Let's check the weather real quick. Should be good to catch some Arapaima. You can set up anywhere along here.
I put mine all the way up so I can see which pole is getting hit. And right past this weed line, I'll go ahead and get a pole in so we can zoom in. Right past this little line right here, past the bushes and the little opening, this where the tip of my pole is, this area right here seems to be really good for the air pima. I've tried back here, it's not as uh, as quick. This spot seems to be the spot that I can quad up several times. Um, in, a, in a fishing time, like a four hour session, I can quad up you know a few times. It's not going to happen every day. It all depends on weather and things along those lines as usual, but this is where I like to go. If you want, you don't have to be in um, on the shoreline if you just want to, you know, fish off the boat because that's what you enjoy. You can also do that as well. Just make sure you're not sitting right over the hole because it's not very user friendly uh, can't say user friendly that was that was said wrong it's uh it's not too lucrative there we go so minute in over here already got a fish on we got a runner hopefully it's a fat boy for you we're going to get this one in. We're going to ignore any other fish that hit. Just showing you that the spot works. Really, like it's going to be about a 60 pounder. But I've got plenty of fat boys over here. Um, I've actually caught my biggest one sitting over here at 209 pounds. We'll double check it when this fish comes in. I believe it's 209. There are several other locations on the map to catch air pima. You got the uh, the left dock over there. You can catch them to the left and the right in the weeds. You can catch them outside. Um, the middle, we'll, we'll look at the map. When this fish comes in. <clears throat> so this is about the typical size that you'll pick up um, overall. You don't always get a fat boys. Um, you might get a 150 plus pounder a day. Uh, some days you get might get lucky, get two of them. Most time it's these right here, about three thousand dollars, 600 to 800 XP, somewhere in there. Um, The other places that I have fished for them as well is down here in the left corner. See, so I got a 58 pounder there. Unique. Um, I have caught bigger ones in this location. If you just go out from the dock where we started, take a left. It's behind the island there. And then, of course, the infamous uh, dock in the middle over here. Shoot to the left, shoot to the right. The weeds are over here. Uh, that was my 209 pounder right there. 210 pounder. Um, and then to the left, we got um, another spot. And then you can also go in the corner. And it's another spot. There's three different spots you can fish over there. I find it slower than this location over here. Um, but it is very effective. Uh, it's a lot more effective from what I've seen with a uh, float rod setup. But I... I don't mind doing the bottom rod sitting here just hanging out. If you got any questions, leave it in the comment bar below. Um, I'm Chess Spalding. Thanks for watching.
and have a fantastic day.